Today we are going to talk about Ansible troubleshooting, specifically about the failed connection to the host via SSH localhost error. I'm Luca Berton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Connecting to localhost is somehow a special place because uh, Ansible requires special parameters specified in the inventory file. I'm going to show you a live demo of the Ansible connection failed problem and fixed in the inventory file. Just to be clear, that is the exact error on the terminal. Failure to connect to the host via SSH, SSH connect to host localhost port 22 connection refused, unreachable. True, and this is a fatal error that you might encounter when you test the code on your local machine. So let's jump in a quick live demo. Welcome to my editor. Let's suppose we have a very simple Ansible playbook to test the connection. For example, the one that invokes the ping module. The ping module is the easiest way to test if the Ansible connection worked it out. So let's start with a free dash and a name for our play, ping module demo, that is going to be executed on host all of my inventory and on the task list let me specify a name, test connection and the Ansible module we would like to use. In this case, ansible.builtin.ping. This is a special module and it doesn't mime the ping for the network. It only connects directly to the workstation, it executes an SSH connection and verifies that the Python interpreter is currently working out. So this is exactly what we need. And just another thing, let me specify the inventory file. Inventory file is just one another text file that includes the full list of a host that we would like to target our execution. In my case, only localhost, and that's it. You can specify host name or IP addresses. So this is a very common error for new by specify only localhost. How to execute the code? Well, you jump in a terminal and you execute using ansible playbook command. If you don't know the exact uh, parameters, just type only the command, and there are plenty of options. We are going to use only a few, so basically the Ansible playbook accepts uh, an Ansible playbook as a parameter. Uh, let me specify the ping YML that we just uh, typed out, and in combination with dash e my inventory, the one with localhost. Yes, we ended up with this fatal error. You, this might be familiar and is very common for new by because it looks like that Ansible is not able to connect via SSH and you got a connection refused because by default Ansible try out to connect to port 22 of the current host but there is a better way to sort it out with stuff and it only need one parameter let me show you in, in the ID it's very simple and it will change your journey Yay! Back on my editor, let me specify one additional variable to the localhost host. This variable is called Ansible connection and you can trigger to local. In this way, Ansible is using local connection instead SSH, so your code can execute smoothly in the localhost. Easy peasy. Back on the terminal to text the outcome of the latest modification. So let's execute again Ansible playbook, let's specify dash e and the inventory as well as my Ansible playbook. The execution is super fast and this time we got a, a OK status, which means the connection was successful. So here we are. We were able to use the local connection instead of the SSH one for testing our code on the local machine. Yay! 
now you know better how to troubleshoot the most common Ansible error about failure to connect to the host via SSH host localhost port 22. This is extremely useful when you are trying to test your code against your local machine or for development or maybe for this purpose. Thank you for watching, if this video was useful for you, give me a thumbs up and let's keep in contact. Let's automate more. See us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! Yay!